So um, this video is about your team, okay? So I know a lot of people don't understand how things really work when it comes to building your dream and building it with someone or building it with family or whatever, okay? But what um, I want to tell you is when you have your dream and you have your vision, it is a very delicate thing. It is like the dust on the wing of a butterfly. It is very delicate and the people that you tell can potentially crush it or build it, okay? So you have to be very, very careful about who you tell your dream to and how you, um, how you present your ideas to certain people, okay? Now, you have to have, first of all, you have to know yourself well enough that other people cannot know you better enough to sway you, okay? Meaning, you might be a person who has dreams and visions and ideas, and another person might feel like, who do you think you are? And they can take you off your path and sway you in a different direction, okay? And you have to be strong enough for what is out there. You have to be stronger inside than what is outside. If you are going to be um, a person who lets the outside influence your inside, then you will have a lot of uh, that push and pull I was talking about yesterday about um, you know one step forward, two step back backward because sometimes the doubt will come from outside. It's some it's the person who you're closest to will tell you that you can't do that. You don't have any money for that. How are you going to do that? Where are you going to get the money from and build doubt inside of you? So what I want you to do first is before you tell anyone what it is that you want, that what it is that you want to work on, you write it down. You find out the pros and cons of your business. You find out the pros and cons of, you know, all the things that you will need to start the business so that you can ask and answer questions for yourself. Do you understand what I mean? I said ask and answer questions for yourself. So ask yourself, um, how much money will this generate? What is the potential? What is the industry that I'm getting involved in? What is that worth annually? How can I get capture even, a, a, you know, not even 1% of this market for myself? Ask and answer those questions for yourself. Um, figure out how to build a better mousetrap for you, okay? Because when you start to talk to people about your dream, they're going to ask you questions that you have to be able to answer. And if you do not have the answers for yourself, you will not have it for them. And you have just given somebody an opportunity to crush your dream and your vision and your ideas and bury it down into a hole and so when you die you take the dream with you no be prepared 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 and I know it's very difficult because we all have people around us who we think want our success as much as we do okay and sometimes that might not necessarily be true because misery loves company and if they're miserable in their life they will find a way to make you miserable in yours as well so that they can consistently have someone to say well see she she's not better than me because she's stuck in the same place that I'm stuck in so we're all the same okay so when you do that for yourself you will have the context by which you can also answer the questions the next thing is you cannot tell everybody. Not everybody who you think would understand, will understand, 
that's number one and number two is people are not obligated to get your dream they're not obligated to uh to support your ideas they're not obligated to 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 cheer you on no one is obligated to do that okay so you might even be the only person on your team and that's good that's okay right because you can ask yourself questions you can answer questions for yourself you can talk back to yourself you can say well Renee I don't think that's a good move and you can say well hmm I think you're right about that there's nothing wrong with being your own best friend there's nothing wrong with saying you know talking to yourself saying Renee that is dumb that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard speak it out loud even to yourself because when you speak it out loud you hear it back that okay if this was coming from someone else I would say they were crazy so you know um, I have to formulate this better no one is obligated to get your dream no your wife your mother your children it came to you they do not occupy the spaces you occupy they don't read the books you read they don't uh, watch the programs you watch they don't see the things you see so there is no reason none in this world for anyone to support you on your dream and that is the truth okay and people may not support you not because they're haters but because they don't know how they don't have the same kind of exposure and they cannot dream in the same way and they can't see the same kind of things that you can see so important write the thing down whether for me I make a presentation for myself not for anyone else for myself if the idea is in my head I'm going to write it down and I'm going to make a presentation I'm going to make a presentation as if I'm presenting this idea to the CEO of somewhere big and they're gonna give me a, a big fat lump sum of money I have to ask and answer myself questions for myself and present those ideas to myself so that I can see the uh, the, the holes sometimes there are holes in your in your plan but you won't see it unless you write it down you won't see it unless you you know you uh, you um, you're in your you're actually working on the plan so you know and then I can go back to my plan and say hmm uh, this is a kind of a, you know this is a problem that emerged that I didn't realize I had but only in the process of writing will you find those issues okay and then the next thing is like I said you can't tell everybody but the people that you do tell you can't tell your hairdresser you can't tell the people who don't have any kind of exposure because those people are dream killers they might they might be inadvertently dream killers and they don't know that they're dream killers but choose who you bring along carefully sometimes you have to bring along yourself sometimes it's just the party of one until you find someone else to help you to work on that dream with you okay and if you're building a dream and you don't have a partner or someone else who gets the dream that's okay you have sometimes you have to show people you have to as we say in Jamaica do it make me say right do it make me say okay I've arrived at my destination thank you all so much for watching bye bye